I S U P K. Yo. What are the bumble clap to them, boy, yeah, man? Bad mind never kill them. Suffocate on a pussy wall. Yo, status. Tell some boys we don't chat us. Anyway, my dog go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking on my jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the pussy them, but meet them God. Louis V kicks, pun we feed them bad. Catch a new drip, dog, we beat them bad. Look how we just come and we a beat them bad. You know, sister, we is them dad. Hey, but anyway, though, this are no playground. The Glock 19, they have to stay round. Now take no check with my payroll. Anything rise up, play down. They must send check, but they won't. Dark, we will make it step if they don't. But at the same old, same old. Said them want smoke, but the grabber don't flame out. A couple of y'all come true. Children, we are the ICPK. Out of 1 West, out of 25th Street. Harlem, New York, and the commanding General Yohanna. We've been teaching this truth since 1969 that the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native Indians are the true children of Israel. That's right. That's right. The lost 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. We of the ISUPK are not affiliated with any religious organization right. or group. Under commanding General Yohanna since 1969, That's right. we've been teaching this Bible and teaching the truth of this Bible. Teaching the truth to the people. Teaching the truth to our people. Today we're going to show that our so-called religious leaders have been lying to us about this Bible. They've That's been right. lying to us That's every right. day. They've been lying to us every That's Sunday. Right. On the streets, on the TV, Sunday to Sunday. That's right. Today we're going to show that the law, that the so-called church, the so-called religious leaders say that it's done away with. We are going to prove today that the law is not done away with. Right. And we're supposed to keep this law. Because this law is our guide. That's right. This law is our refuge. That's right. This law is our peace. That's right. The law that has been set from the beginning. That's right. That came through under Moses. This law right. has been here to keep us, to guide us as a people. That's right. It has been given to one group of people only. The right. so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Indians. That's right. right. So they're going to bring here now Proverbs 29 and 18. We're going to prove and show yeah. that the law of God is not done away with. That's, That's right. right. That the so-called Christian pastors say that we are it's done away with. Are we under grace? We're not under the law. Because they do not understand the Bible. They do not right. understand that the law is life. That's right. The law is a light upon our feet. That's right. The book of Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. These so-called religious, religious leaders have removed the vision of our people. They have blinded us. They have taught us lies. They have carried us astray. The so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Indians, they have oppressed us. They have confused us. Every Sunday, every day they're teaching on the streets, on the radio, on the TV, and they continue to make us blind. What? But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. He that keepeth the law, happy is he. We are supposed to keep the laws and the commandments that the Most High set to us. The so-called blacks, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Indian man. The law of the Lord is for you. The law was never done away with. The law was given to us to give us life and to give us strength. Continue. Verse 19. A servant will not correct by words. For though he have understand, he will not answer. He will not answer. The law is given to us to protect us from our enemies. Because our enemies are right around us. 
Our enemies and the other nations, they continue to push drugs in our community. They continue to oppress us. They con we continue to get minimum wage jobs. We continue to be under every low economic state. The so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic, the so-called native Indian is below every other nation here. Not just in Trinidad here, but on the planet. So today, we are going to show that the law of God is here to stay. It was never done away with. It is here for us to learn. It is here for the native Indian man, for the Hispanic man, right. for the black man, That's to right. be able to guide his life, guide his family, That's and right. to protect his nation, That's and right. to protect his people. That's right. This law that was written down, this law that was passed down through Moses, came through all through the Old Testament, and was continued in the New Testament. Our King, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he continued the law. He kept the law. Paul kept the law. Peter kept the law. That's right. All the prophets kept the law. Right. Right. And we're going to prove that today, that in the New Testament, we're going to show that all the prophets, Peter, John, James, Matthew, everyone kept the law of the Lord. That's right. The law of the Lord is not done away with. Go ahead. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because our people are not properly taught these scriptures, we die because we lack knowledge. We die because we eat poor crab lobster and shrimp. We die because we don't understand the dietary law. That's right. We poison our bodies because the Lord gave us a law what to eat, what to drink how to carry ourselves, how to deal with our brother. But because of these oppressors, because of these religious leaders, they continue to misguide us. They continue to mislead us. And we perish because we lack knowledge of this word. We not lack knowledge of the law of God. Thou has rejected knowledge. Thou has rejected knowledge. We have rejected the law of the Lord. We have rejected the dietary laws. We have rejected the, the ceremonial laws. We have re rejected the moral laws. And by this, we are destroyed as a people. That's by right. this, we continue to be oppressed. By this, we continue to be in the bottom of every economic, every social ladder. We are in the bottom of everything. What? I will also reject thee. I, he was said, he will also reject us. He will reject us because we do not keep the law of the Lord. He will reject us because we do not keep his laws and his commandments. He will reject us because we continue to oppress our people. And we are oppressed by the other nations. We are oppressed by these, these religious leaders who continue to poison our minds and teach us false doctrine, false information. All these religious leaders teach us what? To sin. They teach us what? To eat poor crab lobster and shrimp. They teach us to celebrate Christmas and Easter, which has nothing to do with the law of the Lord. Celebrating pagan holidays that has nothing to do with the Bible. That's right. Nothing to do with the scriptures. Right. What does a Christmas tree have to do with the Bible? What does a Christmas tree have to do with the law of the Lord? What does, have to, what does that have to do with our king, Yahweh Shai? Continue. Thou shalt be no more priest. Thou shalt be no more priest. Because we do not follow and keep the laws of the Lord. The Moses said we will no longer be priests and kings in his face. Because we refuse to keep his commandments. We refuse to follow his laws. We refuse to follow this Bible as I, that has been given to us to follow. We, they have refused to keep the laws, the commandments, and the statutes that have been given to us to protect us, to guide us, to keep our families and our protection. We're going to continue to see if we do not keep 
the laws and the commandments of the Most High of what our position will be. This law that they say is done away with, this law that they say is, is the Old Testament, this law that they say is a burden, this is the same law that has brought us life. This is the same law that kept us through the wilderness. This is the same law that kept us as a people. This is the same law that made us kings and priests. This is the same law that Moses kept, that David kept, that Elijah kept, that all the prophets of the Bible kept and lived. This is the same law that the Most High punished us when we sinned against him. This is the same law that we get and understand that homosexuality is wrong. This is the law Without the law of the Bible, no one would know homosexuality is wrong. Right. Every other religious group, every other religious organization, other than the God of Israel, never condemn homosexuality. Only the Bible condemns homosexuality. Only the God of Israel condemns homosexuality. That's right. Every other religion, every other ancient group, do not condemn homosexuality. Only the God of the Bible condemn homosexuality. Only the God of Israel condemn homosexuality. All the ancient people, they condone it. Look on the Egyptian walls. Look on the hieroglyphics. You will see that they condone homosexuality. But the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, the God of the so-called black man, Hispanic man, a native Indian man condemn homosexuality, condemn all these wicked acts and come against these abominations, come against eating pork, crab, lobster and shrimp. I want a piece of pork for what? Christmas? Are you mad? That is against the law of the Lord. It's against the Most High's law. It's against what does that have to do with the God of Israel. Has nothing to do right. with our That's King right. Yahweh Shai. Has nothing to do with the God of Israel. That's right. Go ahead. Psalms 111 and 10. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. It's the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of wisdom. Our religious leaders do not fear God. So why? Because they do not fear God, they have no wisdom. Right. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because they do not fear the Lord, they have Christmas trees in their churches, in their mosques, and wherever they are, in their religious organizations. They celebrate pagan holidays. And they continue to disrespect the Most High. They continue to keep and, and condone all these unlawful acts against the Most High. Continue. A good understanding of all they that do his commandments. A good understanding is they who keep the commandments. If you do not keep the commandments of the Most High, you are foolish. You are foolish. Good. If you do not keep the commandments of the Most High, these commandments were brought down to keep order, to bring every nation under subjection and to bring Israel on high. The 12 tribes of Israel who are today the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called native Indians, who the world ignor ignorantly call niggas and spicks, wetbacks. But we are the true children of Israel. We are the true Jews of the Bible. That's right. right. His present and dwelt forever his prayers endure forever. Keeping the laws of the Most High God, his prayers continue forever. Drop that. Give him Matthew 5 and 17. We're going to show now in the New Testament where the law of God is not done away with. Where these religious leaders have lied to us. Lied and said that the law of the Lord is done away with. We're going to prove to you today that all these religious leaders are liars and thieves and hypocrites. They are hypocrites because why? They are saying that the laws are gone and done away with, but they're collecting tithes. If the law of the Lord is done away with, why are you collecting tithes? Right. 
Why are you fooling the people? Why are you ripping off the nation? Why are you oppressing blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians who are one people, who are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? These hypocrites and liars, they come with their smooth words. They come with their forked tongues and lie. So a seed, get a blessing, bring the holy water. That has nothing to do with the Bible. Right. Nothing to do with the God of Israel. That's right. What? Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. This is written in red. This is our King, Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ. Say, think not that I have come to destroy the law. What? Or the prophets. Or the prophets. He did not come to destroy the law or the prophets of old. What they have said and what they have prophesied. He have not come to destroy that. What? I have not come to destroy but to fulfill. He has not come to destroy the law or the prophets but to fulfill. What does fulfill mean? These religious leaders don't understand. They said, okay, he come to fulfill the law. So the law is done away with, which is not true which is a lie, because Christ himself proved that it's a lie. Continue. Verse 18, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, till heaven and earth pass, he is saying, till heaven and earth pass, go ahead. One jot, one, one tittle, one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law, shall in no wise pass from the law. So I want to know, I am asking you here on Independence Square, what Bible is those religious leaders reading? What are they reading? It cannot be the Bible that the Most High said. It cannot be the records of the children of Israel. That's right. Because here Christ is clearly explaining that the law of God is not done away with. Right. That's right. When? Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. He said, till all be fulfilled. So till all the prophecies are fulfilled. Till all the laws are fulfilled. Till heaven and earth pass. As I stand here, the heavens are here. The earth is below my feet. So the law of God is not done away with. The law of God is not done away with. Verse 19. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, whosoever shall break one of these least commandments, Christ is showing us whoever breaks these least commandments that these so-called religious leaders, so-called pastors telling you that the laws of God are done away with, he's going to tell you what is going to happen to them. So Christ just said, if heaven and earth pass, the law will not be destroyed. Heaven is here. Earth is here. Read verse 19. Over. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Break one of these least commandments. Eating pork, crab, lobster and shrimp. The least of the commandments. Taking shape ups. The children of Israel not supposed to shave your head bald. Not supposed to take shake up, shape ups and line ups. What? He shall be called least in the kingdom of he heaven. He shall be called least in the kingdom. What? Whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Read it again. Whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Christ said, Whosoever shall keep and do them he shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. Now this is Christ, Jesus Christ, who the so-called religious leaders profess that they love, profess that they follow, profess that they know, saying, till heaven and earth pass, the law will not be destroyed. And whosoever do and teach them shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So straightway, you are seeing 
These religious leaders are liars. They are hypocrites. And we're going to continue to prove and show more that the so-called law of the Lord is still valid today. We're going to show and prove that the law of God is still here. Drop that. Emma Romans 6 and 15. We are the ISUPK. Out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yahana. We are not affiliated with any other religious organization or group or person. We have been teaching this truth since 1969 that the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. What? Romans 6 and 15. Romans 6 and 15! What then? Shall we sin? What? Because we are not under the law! Shall we sin? Because we are not under the law? Let's understand what Paul is trying to say. What? But under grace! But under grace! What? God forbid! God forbid! He said, shall we continue to sin because we are so-called not under the law? What do we mean under the law? He means the punishment of the law. Because in Israel, in the time of Moses and in the time of Christ, if you were a homosexual, you were put to death. Your head was chopped off for being a homosexual, for a thief, a robber, a murderer, a rapist. You felt the penalty of the law, the curse of the law, the judgment of the law, under the law, under Yahweh Shai, under Moses. That's right. So we continue to see that he's saying, shall we continue to sin because we are no longer being punished? No, because we get grace. Let's understand what is grace. If Tiante come, you don't have a bill and you are about to be cut. Your lights are about to be cut. And they say, here what? We're going to give you till the end of the week to pay your light bill. That is grace. The Most High has given us grace. He has given us a chance to change, right. to turn from our wicked ways, That's right. to continue to keep the law, right. to put away the pork, the crab, the lobster, the shrimp, yeah. to obey his laws, right. to stop being homosexuals, right. murderers, yeah. rapists, yeah. thieves, right. child molesters. Yeah. If we keep the law of the Lord, we will understand that these things are wrong. Right. But these religious leaders tell us what? We are saved by grace. We can sin today and say, Lord, forgive me. I have grace. And that's it. Which is a lie. These religious leaders teach us to sin. They teach us to disobey the laws of the Most High. They teach us to continue to destroy ourselves and destroy our people by following Christmas and Easter and all these so-called holidays which has nothing to do with the Bible, nothing to do with the law of the Lord. Right. Continue. That's it. Right. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. We're going to continue to prove again today in the New Testament. Because why? The religious leaders will continue to say that the law of the Lord is done away with. That is Old Testament thing. That was in the past. That was with Moses. But the law of the Lord is still valid in the New Testament. That's right. Paul kept the law. Peter kept the law. All the disciples kept the law of the Lord in right. the so-called New Testament. And Christ continued. And the disciples continued to keep the law after Christ left. That's right. Right. First John 3 and 4. First John 3 and 4. Here's what John said. Whosoever committed sin, Who's, go ahead. Transit, transgress the, also the law. Whosoever committed sin, transgress the law. I thought they said the law done away with. I thought they say that we're no longer under the law. So if we're not under the law, then we cannot sin. Continue. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin 
is the transgression of the law. So you cannot sin if you do not break a law. You must break a law if you are to sin. So if the religious leaders and these pastors, all these organizations saying that we are saved under grace, we no longer under the law. If we no longer under the law, then we cannot sin. Because here in 1 John 3 and 4, it's saying sin is the transgression of the law. Right. Of what law? The laws that the Most High set Adam. The same laws that we got under Moses. Those laws are us, for us to keep, to guide us, to keep our families, to keep us from destroying ourselves. That's it? Let's do that one more time. First John 3 and 4. For whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law. The law of God. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You cannot sin if you do not break a law. So you have to break the laws of God. So eating pork, crab, lobs, and shrimp is breaking the laws of God. It's a sin according to the Bible. Drop that, give me Romans 6 and 1. We're going to continue to show that these so-called religious leaders have time and time again lied and destroyed us. They have destroyed us and made us to the bottom. They have made us low. Every other nation is above us because why? We refuse to keep the laws of the Most High. We refuse to continue to keep the laws. And we are going to show and prove to you when we keep the laws of God, what is going to happen to us as a people. We will no longer be in the ghettos. We will no longer full of the prisons. We will no longer be murderers and thieves if we keep the laws of the Lord. We will no longer call what cockroaches call what? Murderers. <laughs> Pests. Good for nothing. That's what they call us. What? They call us wasteless, dirty, stink. You understand? Yeah. All the other words that they call us. Right. They say, what's them? Look at another one. Right. Huh? What's the picky head? What's yeah. this one? Huh? That's what they do to us. Right. They say, look at another one again. Send him in jail. He's a criminal. Yeah, right. Kill them out. Right. Them is pests and cockroach. That is right. what they say about our people. That's right. But we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's right. We are destroyed because why? We do not keep the laws of the Lord. Right. Right. Romans 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue in sin? Black man, Native American man, Native Indian man, Hispanic man. Shall we continue in sin? What? That grace may abound. That grace may abound. Shall we continue to sin over and over and over and over? Shall we continue to sin? No. What? Verse 2. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Are we going to show in the Bible that we are the greatest people on the planet? That's right. Let's give me a drop that, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. And today, we're going to prove that the children of Israel are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. There is no other people, no other nation that is greater than the children of Israel. That's right. And this Bible proves and shows that the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanic, the so-called Native Indian, are the greatest people on the face of the earth. We are the salt. We are the light on this earth. There is nothing on this earth without a touch of the children of Israel. Right. We make this world go wrong. Right. We make the culture. We make everything alive. Boy, Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Keep their four and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding. Keep therefore and do them. Keep the laws. Keep the commandments. Because what? This is our what? Wisdom and your understanding. Right. This is our wisdom and understanding. 
the laws and the commandments are our wisdom and our understanding. Right. 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 In the sight of nations. In the sight of the nations. So the laws of the Lord is our wisdom and our understanding above all the nations on the earth. Continue. Right. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Go ahead. Surely this is a great nation. That this is a great nation. That the so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Indian is the greatest nation on the face of the planet. That's right. Continue. Is a wise and understanding people. Is a wise and understanding people. That's it. We are the ICPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. We have been teaching this truth since 1969. We are not affiliated with any other religious organization or group. Go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking on the jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the post to them, but meet them, God. Louis V kicks, pun we feed them bad. Catch a new drip, dogs, we beat them bad. Look how we just come and we a beat them bad. You know, sister, we is them dad. Hey, but anyway, though, this are no playground. The Glock 19, they have to stay round. Now nah, take no check with me payroll. Anything rise up, play down. They must send check, but they won't. Dog, we will make it step if they don't. But at the same old, same old. Said them want smoke, but the grabber don't flame out. A couple of y'all come through. Y'all are what's up, what she gonna come to? She a give me tap and she swallow some jaws. Y'all are suck up till me Jonathan blow. Bentley van a come through. Convert to the drop top, still have a sunroof. The dark, them rolls chop your one proof. Alright, wanna move, wanna move. Anyway, my dogs go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking on the jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the post to them for me.